I have to show you this grass over here. It's like so green and like beautiful. I got to share it with someone. I'm over here at the country house. Going to put it on the market, I think Thursday or Friday. Just sprucing it up. Right? Talk about satisfied. I talked to Diane and she said, well, why don't you just have someone cut the grass for you? We got someone that cuts the grass. And I said to her, that would be like having someone play the video poker machine for me. That's where the fun is. Out here playing. All right, I didn't say that to her. <laughs> I milked it. <laughs> I said, now nah, I'm going to get a workout, save some money, stuff like that. Meanwhile, I love doing this stuff. And $400 is sweet, but it's even sweeter when it's on a free play. I had $220 on a free play playing bonus poker, and it's even sweeter. I've got five sixes, no, five sixes, threes, and sevens. I the same machine. I'm going to stay for a little bit. That was from Saturday. We went Friday night. Then Saturday, we had a t-ball game to go to. If you guys have never been to, like, a four-year-old's t-ball game, you got to go. It's only three innings. <sighs> Thank goodness. No one gets out. All nine batters get up there to bat. The whole team <laughs> runs for the ball once the batter hits the ball. Like, I thought it was going to be like, oh, man, I got to go to a t-ball game. But, man, it was entertaining. Anyway, back to this. So I'm at the country house. We went to the Borgata on Saturday again after going Friday. When I say that, so I wasn't even going to post a video because sometimes I feel like a little bit of like a like a like a degenerate. <laughs> However, we won. We won quite a bit of money on Friday night. So we went to the T-ball game. We were halfway to AC, and we said, you know, let's just go back down there and see what happens. And sure enough, we won again. Here, I'll show you now. Diane said I was getting threes with an ace. So, I got to split this with her. We were supposed to be 20 minutes ago. Kind of playing with it. That was a pretty good hit, right? Let me show you this basement. You'd have to look back on the previous video to see how bad this was to get an appreciation. So it's all nice and dry. Edwin, the plumbing extraordinaire, cut the whole perimeter, laid down a pipe, some stone. So now the groundwater goes right over to one, two sump pumps. Then we had that huge pile of dirt in here that had to get out of here. And that's where my honorary nephew Juan came in. Now Juan has a full-time job during the week as a maintenance worker or repairman at, a, at a, uh, an apartment complex. And then on Saturdays and Sundays, he goes over and he makes bagels at like 3, 4 o'clock in the morning. Now, if you're not from New Jersey, you probably don't appreciate a bagel. Like, oh, what's the big deal about a bagel, right? But if you're from New Jersey, you know a good bagel. And Juan makes some good bagels. So then he comes out here and does a lot of dirty work for me. Put gutter guards on, cleaned the gutters the other day. Anyway, make a long story short, I respect that kind of stuff. This kid is a go-getter. Anytime I have anything, I always say, hey, Juan, you want some more work? Right? So let's take a pop left shot. Double, double bonus. Five dollars. Aces. Right? I mean, if that jack was two, three, or four, <laughs> oh, we're not complaining though. So that was another hit I had. Degenerate Harry. <laughs> Do not call me that. So if you made it this far into the video, I appreciate it. You know, I have almost 800 subscribers. If I get to 1,000 subscribers, I don't know what I'm going to do, but it's going to be something fun, and I'm going to share it with you guys. Here's something else I want to share with you. For the past 11 days, I've been trying to practice something new in my life. I've been trying to look at the world as if I'm a comedian looking for new material. I know it sounds silly. However, <laughs> I don't want to sound too dramatic, but it's made my life that much better. I'm not saying that's why... We won, like, a, quite a bit of money on Friday and Saturday, but it can't hurt, right? I'll give you an example. I go to this little supermarket called Little, close to my house, probably three times a week for dinner stuff and odds and ends and stuff. Well, the self-checkout line usually brings quite a bit of frustration. <laughs> like, when you see somebody up there with, like, 47 items, and a lot of them have to be weighed, you're like, what are you doing in this line? <laughs> but since... Over the past 11 days, I've been practicing being a comedian and looking for new material. I look at that like, holy cow, I just left Little. That's the name of the store. L-I-D-L. Some people call it Lidl. Some people call it Little, Lidl. I don't know. It's Little. When I leave Little, that's what I call it. I have so much material. 
and it's just made life a little bit lighter, a little bit easier. And, you know, I've always been a grateful person and, and I've always been relatively happy, but it's just given me one extra level of satisfaction and uh, fulfillment. So I'm not saying for you guys to try it. I'm just telling you that's what's been going on with me. So let's see if it carries over to next weekend when I'm at the video poker place Borgata.